Type 2 diabetes reversal final research proposal by Eva Patricia Perez, West Coast University. 90% of people with type 2 diabetes are overweight and obese, according to the World Health Organization. According to the Center for Disease Control, CDC, here in the United States, there are more than 100 million adults with diabetes and prediabetes. Diabetes is a serious health problem that causes major health complications that include stroke, hyperglycemia, DKA, hypertension, heart and kidney disease, gastroparesis, mental, eyes, and skin complications. Many people do not believe that type 2 diabetes is reversible. Patients that have undergone bariatric surgery have been reported to be free from type 2 diabetes. There must be evidence behind this reversal and this research presentation will be highlighting it. The goal is to provide the evidence behind the reversal of type 2 diabetes in post-bariatric surgical patients. The result of this study will help nurses obtain a clear understanding of the evidence and at the same time will help improve the nursing care they provide to post-surgical bariatric patients. The objectives are to provide the background, the rationale, the letter review, the design of the study, the methodology, and the ethics of this research proposal. The CDC states in the basic information they provide about diabetes that diabetes is considered a chronic condition that has no cure. Furthermore, diabetic patients require a specific care in the pre and the post operative phase of their care. Diabetes is defined as a chronic health condition that affects how a patient's body converts the, blood, the food they eat into sugar. Nursing knowledge and care needs to be updated with the new information and the evidence that type 2 diabetes is reversed or cured by bariatric surgery. To the rationale is to improve nursing knowledge and evidence-based nursing care for post-operative bariatric type 2 diabetic patients. The significance of the research is the more nurses will be informed with this new reality, it will help nurses to provide evidence-based safe care and treatment to post-surgical bariatric diabetic patients. The hypothesis is that type 2 diabetes is reversed or cured by bariatric surgery. My research question is, what is the evidence behind the reversal of type 2 diabetes in post-bariatric diabetic surgical patients and how it will influence nursing care and treatment? The population patient problem and focus. So the population is obese adults with type 2 diabetes post-bariatric surgery. Post -surgery. The intervention is bariatric surgery reversing diabetes. The comparison will be type 2 diabetes versus the reversal of type 2 diabetes after bariatric surgery. The expected outcome is that obese adults receiving the health benefits from bariatric surgery by losing the weight and reversing diabetes. Also, the changes in the nursing care and treatment they will receive. The literature review, um, for this literature review, multiple peer review articles were reviewed where three markers um, that determined type 2 diabetes reversal were found, the overall remission and reversal proof, and it also provided the same nursing care guidelines already established for post-operative bariatric diabetic patients. The three markers are body mass index, hemoglobin A1C, fasting blood glucose levels, these three markers determine obesity and type 2 diabetes. BMI, according to the CDC, adult body mass index is a screening tool used to determine the overweight and obesity. BMI greater than 30.0 is obesity and one of the qualifiers for bariatric surgery in addition to one or more comorbidities. The three markers, according to the American Diabetes Association, to diagnose a person with diabetes, only one of the following tests is necessary. A hemoglobin A1C that is greater than 6.5% is diabetes. 
um, but a hemoglobin A1C of less than 5.7% is normal, no diabetes. The other test to determine diabetes is the fasting plasma glucose, or also known as fasting blood glucose. The level of 126 milligrams per deciliter or higher is considered the confirmation that a person has diabetes. The normal level of fasting blood glucose is less than 100 milligrams per deciliter. According to Senti MET, all um, provided conclusive results of the reduction of BMI, but most of all, a reduction in hemoglobin A1C to a range of 5% to 6% with an average of 5.7% in 60 to 90% of the obese patients with type 2 diabetes post bariatric surgery. Senti also stated that the results were obtained in a short term period and that a low BMI was not a determinant of, di of diabetes reversal. Also, Gillifor ETL 2016 stated that hemoglobin A1C is the guideline to determine that a patient is in remission from type 2 diabetes after bariatric surgery. In a hemoglobin A1C of less, of, of less than 6.5% was achieved without anti-diabetic medication. Ramos Levy ETL 2014 provided results of hemoglobin A1C levels of less than 6% and fasting blood glucose levels of less than 100 milligrams per deciliter after bariatric surgery of obese diabetic patients. This is a small summary of the articles review the population. Uh, in each case study, they presented the percentage of reversal and the hemoglobin A1C results. The nursing care mechanic ETL 2009 stated that adequate glycemic control and the administration of insulin should be as needed. Nurses assessing vital signs and monitoring pain, heart rate, and blood pressure with the, with the focus of helping the patient's safety and being able to identify any changes in vitals and symptoms that can indicate life-threatening complications. This is something nurses are already doing. This is nothing new. Mechanics stress the importance of blood glucose monitoring and withdrawing insulin with cautions in type 2 diabetic patients because the reversal or remission of type 2 diabetes might not happen right after surgery. The design of the study is a quantitative research project, uses a secondary data analysis for data collection, and it was done by reevaluating peer review articles that provided case studies results with appropriate sample size and reliable and valid data. All of the patients of the case studies presented in the peer review articles met the criteria for this research. Adults 18 and older type, with type 2 diabetes post bariatric surgery. The sample size, according to the textbook Tapen 2016, a research has to have an appropriate sample size, also a large random sample that can represent the general population. Seven peer review articles were reanalyzed to obtain a total of 15 case studies with large numbers of participants, ranging from 105 to 22,094 participants. Uh, in each case study. The percentage result of the reversal of each case study was used to determine research proposed, the research, this research proposal. The population of focus for this research project is adults 18 and older, all gendered obese adults, type 2 diabetes, post-bariatric surgery for weight loss. According to TAPEN 2016, for the results of a quantitative study to be reliable, it needs to have consistency and stability. The results of the case studies review for this research project were also stable since different researches um, in separate case studies utilized the same criteria and testing methods, and the results obtained had consistency and stability, meaning that the different, research, different researches um, in different states and different countries obtain the same results. Secondary data analysis was the method used for this data collection, and according to TAPEN 2016, this method is convenient and utilized for quantitative research with the high use of technology and internet. A, the secondary data analysis and collection can be accessible, inexpensive, fast, and complete. 
More than 15 peer review articles were reviewed, but approximately seven peer review articles provided multiple case studies performed in different years by different researchers or experts. Those seven articles provided complete information and the number of participants in each case study that they use and the same criteria for participant selection. Also, the same evaluation method, the same three markers to determine obesity and type 2 diabetes reversal. Hemoglobin A1C, fasting blood glucose, post bariatric surgery were utilized to determine the reversal of type 2 diabetes. What made the results of the case studies reliable was that all of the case studies presented in the peer review articles provided consistently the same high percentage results of the confirmed reversal. To test the validity of the measuring tools utilized in the peer review case studies and for this research, the American Diabetic Association, the CDC, and the World Health Organization website provided information that recognized that hemoglobin A1C blood test and fasting blood glucose are the gold standard test to determine if a person has diabetes. According to, according to Rubino F. 2013, the International Diabetes Federation recommended the use of measuring parameters of hemoglobin A1C and of fasting blood glucose, especially to measure the efficacy of bariatric surgery to treat diabetes. The hypothesis H of zero, type two diabetes is reversed after bariatric surgery. The hypothesis H of one, type two diabetes is not reversed after bariatric surgery. The data analysis method of chi-square was used to evaluate the information obtained by reanalyzing the data presented in the peer review articles. According to TAPEN 2016, the chi-square method is used to compare the actual values to the expected values. And the chi-square is used with large sample values. This method is the most appropriate method for the large sample data collected from the 15 case studies presented in the peer review articles. For this research project, the chi-square test was used to perform the calculations and comparisons of the expected and actual percentage results of the reversal of type 2 diabetes after bariatric surgery. The degrees of freedom were n minus 1, which is 15 minus 1 equals 14. Uh, and 15 is the number of the total case uh, used in this uh, research. The significant level that was used is 0 0.01. This is the sample sizes and the percentage in each of the case studies presented. This is the chi-square distribution at degrees of freedom at 14. The, num the maximum number is 29.14. 29.14. These are my calculations. The chi-square test comparison, um, the result is the is below the maximum possible, which was 13.74, and it validates the expected result of the study, um, accepting H of zero that there is sufficient evidence to accept the claim that type 2 diabetes is reversed after bariatric surgery. According to Tapen 2016, ethics in research is defined by respect, benefit, beneficence, and justice to provide the most benefit and the least risk for the participants. Ethics and respect and the peer review articles provided in, in the case study results with ethic and respect by not providing any patient's identifiers and protecting their private health information. The only information provided um, by the case uh, studies was the laboratory results of the fasting blood glucose, hemoglobin A1C, BMI before and after bariatric surgery. No informed consent was required for this secondary data analysis collection for this research proposal. Beneficence, this research honored the ethics code of beneficence by causing no harm to the participants and minimizing the risk. For this research project, the information was obtained by utilizing secondary data analysis. Justice, the ethic code of justice was honored in every case study review by including all of the participants that met the research criteria. Um, of being adults 18 years and older, obese with a BMI greater than 30, with type 2 diabetes and post-bariatric surgery.
No financial disclosure was provided in the peer review articles and grants funded most of the research studies. In conclusion, the peer review article case studies data was valid, reliable, and evidence-based. The data obtained provided proof of the reversal or, and cure of type 2 diabetes by bariatric surgery. The reversal and cure of type 2 diabetes by bariatric surgery was also confirmed by the quantitative data review and the chi-square method calculations presented above. The chi-square method test provided the sufficient evidence to accept the claim that type 2 diabetes is reversed after bariatric surgery. This information will help provide knowledge and understanding for the nursing community, for the nurses to educate the public with this great news of reversal of type 2 diabetes. The peer review article did not provide new nursing care guidelines. The inconsistency of this research was that there was very little information found on nursing care of type 2 diabetic patients post bariatric surgery. These are my reference, a total of 18 references.